In this video, I'm going to show you a really, really good way to defend U-Trips. U-Trips is one of the formations that gives me the most trouble online, so I wanted to give you one of my favorite little defenses for defending it. So, um, the best thing that you can do defensively this year, in my opinion, is come out in the same play every time. And the reason why this is important is because the way Madden works this year, especially if you're playing against really good players, there are tells when you go from a man play to a zone play or you go from a cover one to a cover two right there's little tells that exist within the defense and so to kind of help combat that we're going to come out essentially in the same defense but we're going to adapt it if you will to the formation now if you guys want to learn a little bit more as to how i do that in the nickel over formation we're going to be dropping an update to that defensive ebook later this week um, but we also have a complete ebook on this defense uh, showcasing why i believe it's the best defense in the game with that in mind uh, we're going to show you a way that you can kind of set a, a defense up that's really good for u trips um, if you're ever having if, if you've been having any trouble with this formation i think u trips is one of those formations year in and year out that really combats the meta because it, it's a little glitch it's, it's fairly glitchy with the motion snaps and stuff like that um but anyways like i said if you want to get the nickel over full defensive ebook we go over everything you can get it in the patreon and we're going to be dropping an update to that relatively soon uh, it's only 10 bucks to get in there and uh, get access to all of our ebooks so i'd encourage you to consider doing that but let's get into this so nickel over and the play we're going to come out in is lb blitz one it's my you fairly decent u trips defense so if you take a look here first things you're going to notice hopefully is the Alignment from this play is much better than Overstorm Brave, and the main reason is because now this safety right here, what I do in Ultimate Team is I have two inside shades, and these guys will be my inside shades right here. So the guy guarding the tight end always has inside shade, and then the guy guarding the slot receiver will have inside shade as well. Then what we're going to do to give our blitz look is we're going to go ahead and pinch our defense. Now, what I like to do typically is I'm going to use the safety, but before I bring him down, what I'm going to do against U trips is if I just audible um, like to this guy right here, I'm gonna just run him off the line of scrimmage. And as you can see, now he's gonna be in a better position to guard the tight end. Uh, the tight end quick to the flat or the tight end crosser, which, or the tight end aggressive catch over the middle. Those are three big things that people that run U-trips like to do. So you're gonna see that. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shade my coverage outside. The reason I wanna shade my coverage outside is to protect against corner routes, protect against C routes, stuff like that, that are very popular and stuff that my user defender can't really guard, okay? That's a big piece right there. And then really the only other thing that I like to do against U-Trips is we are going to put our linebacker on the right side of the screen into a curl flat. I'm gonna blitz my user and then I'm going to bluff blitz my defensive tackle. So you see here, this is what the defense looks like. Now, this curl flat will do pretty decent at helping kind of some snap throw streaks, any kind of like quick quick hitting stuff. So, you know, let's say they run, you know, the Y option wheel, you know, they do something like this route combination. Um, you'll see here, we have pretty good defense. And again, you're gonna notice nickel over is super powerful, powerful uh, because of what you just saw. So what you just saw is this. If they don't block the running back, it's not 100% consistent, but it's like 80% of the time. If they don't block a running back against nickel over, you're going to get these glitchy um, little instant wins or even just flat out like they're going to come in free. It's really effective. The fat, You want the fastest defensive ends you can possibly get. If you have the fast defensive ends with good acceleration, that's what we're really looking for in that position. Okay, so you see here again, I just have to move this guy down. And then when I click off, I'm typically going to be on this guy. Okay, so you see here, that's pretty much the defense. You can hard flat this guy if you're worried about a quick out. Um, another thing that I really like to do if, they, if they're not motioning a lot is man up that middle linebacker on the outside receiver and then outside third, the uh, outside corner. I think this is a really good adjustment uh, because what, a, what I find a lot of people liking to do is a concept that basically looks like this. And now what this allows is that corner is going to run right into the outside third. As you can see, it's going to play really, really well. So it doesn't really get open in that example. Now, another thing that you're going to get, uh, or another variation of a defense that I like to play, once they start to like consistently block their running back, then I'm going to go to two curl flats over the middle here, and I'm going to bluff blitz the defensive end or defensive tackle 
that is on the running back side. So if the running back goes on a route, that three rec will go guard him. If he doesn't go on a route, the three rec will play over the middle of the field. And so, again, this is just a passive defense that I like to call against U-trips so that when they run stuff like this, you know, if they, if they did something like this, for example, which is a common route combination, you're going to see that our shaded outside man coverage is going to be pretty solid and it's going to, they're going to drive really well on routes. The two curl flats really help with some of the stuff that can actually hurt us, which are these little shallow crossers over the middle, um, you know, little underneath stuff. I've got, I've got these underneath zones to really help me with that. So the main thing that I'm looking for at the snap of the ball I'm mainly looking for these post routes from either side receiver. So I'm responsible for the deep middle of the field. I've got the defensive lineman to help me as well. So this is a simple defense that I like to run. And the beauty of this is it all looks the same. So let's say for example that, you know, they're, you know, they're blocking their running back and I still want to send some heat. Well, now I can send both linebackers. Now everybody's still manned up. Remember this big time tip here of just bringing this guy into a better position. You can actually blitz him as well if you wanted to. Uh, but now what you're going to see here, everybody's manned up well. And you see how good the uh, pressure, of course, from nickel normal is or nickel over. So if you want to learn the rest of this defense and how to adapt it to the best formations in the game, make sure you join my Patreon. It's only 10 bucks uh, to get access to everything that we have over there, including all the updates. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to join the Patreon, head down to the description below and click the link down below.